yeah, this is gonna be a pretty big kill for us. Uh, what else we got here? Threes, threes is possible. This takes a bit of mathematics here. I don't mind it hit it. Oh, how lovely it works. Good. Nice. Like, I could hit Shiru and get rid of Saskia. I could do that here. Could be the line. Probably worth it. The best weapons are from hand. Wow, look at that. Oh. What's up legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please take the time to do so now. My next goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers really appreciate your support in achieving that objective for today i've put together a deck incorporating this card here shiru so i have had a lot of success this season with um square tail control kinds of decks uh with the guerrilla tactics leader and the precision strike leader so um i've kind of come around to another control list with guerrilla tactics as the leader ability here so this leader allows us to move a unit to the other row. If it's an enemy, damage it by two. If it's an ally, you're boosting it by two. We have three charges of this. So what I'm looking to do with this leader ability is um, utilize it to help set up our opponent's units at the end of a match to be aligned with Shiru's power. Okay, so um, in my thinking, we're either looking to destroy units at three power or units at five power um, that the opponent may have through Shiru. So we can use leader to damage some units down. Um, we could also use leader to boost Shiru up to a certain power to help kill off some of the opponent's units. That's the general idea with the leader ability. Save it for um, round three when we're committing Shiru. Stratagem we're using is Crystal Skull, boosting the allied unit by four, giving it fail. We're using Saskia and um, the movement package to help get round control round one. So we've got a lot of important units with certain abilities here, as you can see. Um, in particular, you're gonna give stratagem to Sentry, Cat Witcher, or the Dryad when going first. So I'm gonna run you through this list bottom up, explain how best to play each card, when to play it during a match, and then we're gonna discuss how to execute the strategy for this deck. So I want you to bear in mind with each of these bronze units that we're going to see, um, keep one copy in deck and keep the other one in your hand to play subsequently as Saskia thins it out to the board. So we ensure we get as much value from her as possible. Um, Dryads work great together in particular if you can get them on the same row because they'll be boosting each other at the end of your turn. So um Go ahead and play one copy out of each of these following bronzes. So we've got the Dryad that you can play out, Dwarven Mercenary. Um, this might be a little trickier to play for the deploy, 
but bear in mind the less units you have in your hand it should still play for okay value because we're going to watch out that it damages itself by one for each non-dwarven unit in your hand so as far as playing this from your hand round one you might want to play it last out of the bronzes um for control we've got spores reset the power of a unit so obviously you're going to target a unit with a boost above its base level power you could save this um, at the end of the match as well, just as a tall punish option. Mahakam Ale, boost unit by 5, removing its lock. Once again, this is because we've got a lot of units with abilities, so Ale is great for round 1, but outside of that, you're not really going to carry it with you round 3. Two Cat Witches, at the end of your turn, move yourself to the other row, damage a random enemy unit on the opposite row by 1. When the Cat Witches get towards Adrenaline range, Adrenaline 3, they're doing damage of two instead so they become a very effective engine at that time two sentry units uh, we're looking to play the sentry units range through because we're running a movement package like i said whenever an allied unit moves boost it by one so you're either gonna you're gonna stack saskia range through as well um looking to thin out the sentries on that row so now for the control portion of this deck um, these special cards you see that we have here obviously to work with Gord making Gord a better play But um, like I said, we have a control theme kind of a unitless theme as well So try to reserve these control cards over along round three playing a unitless style So we've got double rebuke damage an enemy unit by five uh, We're not concerned with the death blow here. Just some control Master craft the spear damage an enemy unit by six death blow damage another enemy unit by the excess damage dealt uh, with Gord, Gord's value increases for every special card we play. So the idea is that you want to expend all of your specials before we deploy him at the very end of a match. He's not going to play um, super tall in value in this deck. I wanted to keep a balanced approach to what this deck could achieve. As you can see, we've got some artifacts, some special cards. Um, you know, we've got the tiger, we've got the dragon for immunity as well. So Gord will play still good value for his provision. Play him last at the end of your match. Serpent Trap for some pretty sneaky control. I do like adding it in. It's a great counter towards cat decks. Um, opponent plays cat for immunity. And if you have this on you, you can just remove it right away from the game and kind of mess up that strat. Cat decks are still kind of around. Um, so on the spring, you get to destroy the enemy unit with the lowest power. You could leave it for ambush as well. I typically like to play it for spring. You may wish to carry Serpent Trap with you round one, especially when the opponent's going first, because if they boost something with their stratagem, it could really give you a good edge winning on even round one. Isengrim's Council gives us consistency. Look at a random Dwarf, Dryad, Elf from your deck, play one, and boost it by two. So we can utilize Isengrim's Council to ensure Gord at the end of the match, and also Shiru. So Council could boost you up to 5 and get you kills at 5 power. Um, if you're really struggling for round control round 1 and you need to get another bronze from your deck, I guess you could use it that way, but really try to save it for round 3. Sabertooth Tiger, round 3 card for us. Good way to open up the round with the unitless theme we're playing. Um, so it transforms itself into an artifact and it can't receive damage at that time. If the opponent has Heat Wave, they can still remove it. And um, it just guarantees 7 points for us on the board. Um, my thinking is that because there's a lot of Renfree decks around, some of these cards can last longer than usual. It's, it's not so common that someone's going to have Heat Wave playing Renfree, right? They can't do that. So I'm hoping this can counter Renfree decks this build. Um, bear in mind, if the opponent has a unit alone on a row, when the turn comes back to our turn, Tiger damages it by 2 as well. Um, with the dragon here, it's just an immunity unit. Can't be manually tag targeted by the opponent, so that's great. Usually you want to open up with um, Sabertooth Tiger, and then you could follow up with dragon if you like. Or just play out your removal cards and don't give opponent any kind of chance to destroy anything on the board. Play this late in round 3 if you like as well. Tainted Ale, Zeal Order ability, meaning you can utilize it right away. Damage a unit by 2, 3 charges. Tainted Ale is to synergize with Shiru. 
to help kill something of an equal power, right? So maybe you want to damage something down to three power for Shiru to kill at his own base power. Or um, if you got Shiru boosted to five, etc. It's, it's just a way to line up the kills. Um, play this just before you commit Shiru, I guess, round three. We've got Sword Echo card. Get to play it twice. Very nice when you're playing Gord. It gives Gord greater value because of the Echo. Um, damage an enemy by five. Spawn a player base copy of the stored unit, giving it doomed. Death blow, banish the unit and store it. Um, banish could come in handy. If you want to banish something in particular of the opponents, you could use leader to damage it down and hit sword with it. Um, if you really want to reach for it, could be pretty good against Renfrey at this time. Damage Renfrey down. She's a seven powered unit. Use one leader charge on Renfrey. She's a five. Death blow her. Opponent can't replay her multiple times. That could be something to help you at this time. But we really want to prioritize playing sword round one. That's a good idea because of the echo card. And just set up that um, stored value for round three. Play the second charge. To create just for some more consistency, play a unit from your deck. Um, our deck, I feel it's quite consistent because of the thinning we get with Saskia. So these cards such as Council and Decree really should ensure we get everything we need. Shiru is a really interesting card. Zeal order ability, you can use the order right away. Destroy all other units with power equal to Shiru. So Shiru is three powered. If your opponent's got three powered units, they'll get wiped out on the board. Good thing about Shiru now is that um, he doesn't destroy himself like he used to. So I think he plays better because if you attribute boost to him, you'll keep those points. They don't get burnt up. So Shiru is going to come as like one of your final plays. Like I said, Gord's going to be last. Shiru probably comes second last around there somewhere. So just make sure you utilize Painted Ale and Leader Ability and your special cards if you can, the damage cards to maximize Shiru effectiveness. Heat Wave. I love carrying Heat Wave in any of my decks. So consistent. Banish unit or artifact. Just keep it around three. Fits well with the unitless theme. And then Saskia, of course, is our card to win round one to get round control. Play her ranged throw because we're running the movement package. We want sentries to be played ranged. And um, like I said, she's going to thin out a Skoytel unit of a certain category that we don't have on the board at the time. So to get max thinning value out, when she thins a certain type of bronze, you play that type from your hand and just wait till she thins the other one out. Now that we've covered the list, I'm going to ex explain how to execute the strategy. So in my opinion, round one, what we want to do as an opener, it, it, opener is play Saskia ranged. We draw out whatever unit we draw out. We boost that with stratagem. Um, from there, what we do is just look to win round one utilizing our bronze units as much as possible and you can also commit sword round one because of the echo and ensuring sword value and some special cards very sparingly it should be enough to get you around control um what i'd suggest with this deck because we're running kind of unitless and heavy control you just pass round two go to a long round three and what you want to do is open up with tiger you can play a dragon and then you just start to commit all of your special control cards. Um, bearing in mind, we want to set up our opponent's unit's power level in line with Shiru's power level. And how you're going to look to do that is use our leader to either boost Shiru or damage the opponent's units down. Um, you play Ale out, set everything up as best you can. You hit Shiru probably second last, and then your last play is Gord. Hopefully it's enough to win you the match. Thanks for your time and support, really appreciate it, and hope you enjoy the following matches. Uh, yeah, it takes a bit of focus, this one. There's, uh, there's calculations in, in this um, strat. Yeah, that's all good. That was pretty fun, man. Big shoe for us, my friends. Worked out great. 
I was a bit worried. I thought maybe I was just gonna float him for points. Like, I thought maybe I wouldn't get value, but it still did. It's nice. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Send it through, man. Yo, what's up, Kiwi? Life is fleeting, yet life is eternal. Um, yeah, probably doing this. So they have harmony? Are you fucking kidding me? Cactus it's like of probably a Saskia thinning harmony kind of deck. Skirmisher, right? Wow! Aggressive play. Very, very aggressive play here. I think we'll probably return the favor. They probably want a long round too. Anyway, I have to ensure it. Oh, Zoltan Warrior's out. All oh, right. Ah. You see, you must talk between your teeth. That's it. I could get a dried with that. Really going for it. Bit of an expensive round. I mean, they got full leader out. That should be good now. Yes. I prefer L. We just pass now. Really? <laughs> Jack Sparrow. You got a Jack Sparrow in chat right there. Our friend Kiwi. I'm surprised they're still playing, man. Movement package is, is not to be slept on. For real. I think I just pass. I don't know if it was the best. Yeah, check out these passive points, ready? <laughs> There's been a lot of times that I win a game round one just because of the movement package, like miscalculations. See? Uh... So, it is a Ren free deck. Just take card advantage. Yeah, no way, hey. Um, these lists have been performing pretty good for me this season. Like ST, Precision Strike, Guerrilla Tactics. Wow, I'm happy to get that combo out. 
Jeez. They wasted a lot of points there. Or maybe they want the thinning. Honestly, we just want Tiger. We'll see. We just go Serpent Trap right away. Or how do we want to do this? So they need dwarfs to transform for Munro. So we're gonna target at three there for Shiru. They need the boys. I have to go Serpent Trap though, as well. Yeah, it's fair enough. I'm not going to get value out of Serpent much, I don't think. So... I mean, they're not going to play, it's a Renfrey deck. This was my best bet for specials, these two, right? Let's get rid of it. At least they can't um, give armor around to remove damage value. Let's hope it's a brick. Renfrey at ten. They'll pay for my stolen birthright. I wonder what they're going to select because we're going unitless. It's pretty good engine, isn't it? So the good thing versing Renfrey is like you can float artifacts and stuff. You don't have to worry about it getting heat waved. Really? Seven. Oh, yeah, I see. So, there's not really a risk for dragon here, is there? <laughs> What's up, Nate? Oh, they got more? Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see a bit. I could, t I don't know, I kind of need Ale to set up Shiri though. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, there it is. So that's going to be hitting Dragon now.
Could go sure at five, yeah. Great oak. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Their leader is actually falling into a Shiro at 5, from what I can see. We just hold on. Unfortunately, Dragon's taking some damage here. Yeah, it's going to be Shiro at 5. Um, we can hit Renfrey to 5. Monroe to 5. It's going to be a 5 Shiro. This should be pretty spectacular, actually. Um... Should I discard? I kind of want to wait. I kind of want to wait one more turn, yeah. Let's take a look here. Should it be Gord first? No, this goes to four. It's annoying now. Who rent free? Probably worth moving it. I'd say so. Yeah, everyone um is pretty hyped about her release. But I guess that's kinda normal, isn't it? Like you get a card that's overplayed a lot. People lose interest in it maybe. <laughs> Garcane? Okay, we got one leader charge up. I want to get that for sword. That'd be a really good sword. Passes? Okay, okay. That's all right.
Um, let me see. Get this. The only good human is a dead human. So I still got Saskia. We get our long rounds. Yeah, nice, nice. Pretty good cards. Great. We ensured Toad with Sword, that's good. So definitely worth playing Saskia out in a long round three. Still a strong engine. But looking for more control cards now. Like these would be good according to their strategy that they play. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Right. Potentially kill something with sword and then go toad onto that. Got serpent trap to think about. I don't really know what kind of a deck it is, like devotion or what. Garments are shackles that restrain our desires. It's probably too good for me not to take this moment. That's some freaking big value, man. <laughs> wow. Massive toad value. With sword. I think we go trap now, serpent. We got Ale to set up Shiru, um, leader. Should be Saskia next. According to how many bronzes I got left. That's good. Probably not a bad idea to go Meliro. So, we got heat waves, spores, gang. A pleasure to bleed you. Mm. Can we set up Shiru effectively here?
I mean, I, I should be heat waving this, huh? Oh, we're saving spores there. That's a five. Okay. I was thinking maybe going Shiru. I can't now. Nah, I don't think I can really do much with Shiru here. What's this on? How do I get Shiru to 6? With Dryad. Right. Okay. That, that could be a pretty good kill. So, if that's the case, I must do that now, huh? Yeah, this is going to be a pretty big kill for us. Uh, what else we got here? That's huge. It takes a bit of um, thinking, this one. Share as you please. Take care, Dub. Nice to see you, my friend. Wow, it's like, it's so calculated, um, this play, Shiru. Such a calculated play, man. You really have to concentrate, though. Uh, this isn't something that I can just do like subconsciously like my other decks like I have to really think ahead a few steps not to misplay More concentration Required for this <laughs> You already know it dude At least um, we got a nice starting hand Absolutely is it's a mill deck is it? Naturally. Wow. Oh, well, um... Uh, how do I go about it then? Maybe Sa Saskia's maybe, um, not good, is it? If it's mill. How hard is the mill? Style. That's right. I 
like fighting with style. Uh, my deck? I'm playing Shiru. Canter turn one. Had it happen to me a few times now. I just want to see how hard they're going here. Arcus. You played your hand. Now allow me to retort. Yeah. Maybe like soft mill or something like that. I'm expecting like um you know the uh the cards that banish and all that. <laughs> I've been scarred, man. Okay. T bore, something like that. Not like a full on mill, just a variation. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. Honestly, that's a pretty good sword target because it gives us an engine later. Probably about as good as it's gonna get. Remember, they're going first. We're starting to out-tempo them already. Light mill. <laughs> you play mill, Kiwi, hey. I think I versed, yeah, we versed one time. You were milling me. And then I brought you back to the light. <laughs> Maybe. Practitioner. What is going on here? What is happening, my friends? I think we're gonna win on even, because we got a lot of tempo. Six Ren Freeze? Bring it on. I want the hardest decks possible. And I want to conquer them all. Line them up. <laughs> You're doing great, mate. You're doing great. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. Take the Sentry. Take the Cat Witcher. And take the um, Practitioner. All right. Tongue out now, or must I reach for my pincers? I don't really want to let them have a practitioner, another one. Looks like that's what they want. Hey, Zeros, what's up, my friend? What's new? So they're going leader here. Well, now they know I got Shiru. Okay, no worries. Thanks, Zeros. Really appreciate that. Wow. Thank you for your loyalty and support. Heat wave it? Really? 
Why? It's not expensive, you don't think? Oh, because they're gonna replicate or something, is that what you mean? I'd rather Heatwave Renfri, to be honest with you. Because Renfri is a card that's likely to get replayed. Thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Now you see me. Now Using Renegade to put Renfri in your graveyard. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Uh, so what just happened? Did Sasuke just died? Really? I missed it. I wasn't paying attention. Don't know how it happened. I mean, we got a lot of points here still with the movement package. Just one more feather and we're done. Disloyal damage. Movement package is great. Wow, leader's gone, man. Look at that. So, their Renfrey's gone. Can't be played again. We got their leaders out. It's pretty expensive commitment. I think we just pass. What's up, my friend? Thank you for coming. Really appreciate it. 42 Sun. Greetings from the UK, brother. Much love to you. Thank you very much. Pleasure to have you here with the rest of the gang. Yeah. We got a lot out. It's great. Renfrey's gone. Both leaders are gone. So yeah, we just look for our unitless stuff now. Good, good, good. We need a dry pass card. Probably just keep it. Hopefully they pass. I didn't see much consistency in how they're playing. Deck consistency, we didn't see um, really much at all. No thinning. Hopefully they got a crap hand and they just pass. Probably a bad hand, huh? Come on. If they pass, it's much better for us. Because they spent so much already. Okay, here it comes. Boss doesn't like you. Um. Could play sword out. Gives us another unit. Matter? Really? Works for Tiger. It's better.
could work good for Cat Witcher too. Maybe I just still keep it unitless a bit. Meta in a hurry. Ale's not the best. Don't really want ale now. Right. Well, it's no multiple Renfries. We already dealt with that. She's banished. Wow, what are you gonna get? I shall be your eyes, my lord. <laughs> Complete brick! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, this is great, man. Now we're doing good. I, I have units to use this on. I think that just put us in a real good spot. That's what you get, man. Trying to take my cards. <laughs> What's up, Fly? Yeah, we good, baby. We good. Sword's good now because it's going to play Witcher for Adrenaline if I use it. <laughs> Complete brick, man. They gave me a point. Wow, you see? Look, look, look. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, I work for the police. Better than work for humans. Generous indeed. I'll take it. Perhaps, yeah. Like, they could have Nova, right? Terra Nova? We've been controlling this match pretty nice, though. Look at that. Oh! Oh, that's clean. Now we just want all the heavy control stuff. Get rid of the seven. Just want to get these. Want to get ale, that. Gord, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. This is probably not good right now. Yeah, good, good, good. Give me Gord. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Bring it! <laughs> yes! That's what happens! <laughs> oh. Let's do it. How do we sh set Shiro up, my friends? How are we gonna do it? Optimum dosage cheaters on the precipice of lethality. Should I just do it now while I can? I don't. I don't think Shiro is really. Um, he's not a massive play here. I mean, it's an assimilate unit. That's that's something still. Yo, it's good, James. How are you? Now we'll just go unitless, and I well actually I could play the four. We already got Shiri there exposed. Yeah, it could be the four. We'll get that engine value. Just clean up the rest of the board, and then Gord last. And it should be good. If they go, um, have they gone Vilga Forts yet? If not, we might pull this. Dryad's not bad to pull out. What is truth if not an illusion? That was not in the spell books. Yeah, we'll kill the um oh boost it to three. Okay. Style. That's right. 
I like fighting with style. Butterflies. I'll do what I can. Okay. I mean, this is just a board wipeout, man. Clean, clean. Devastating. Absolutely filthy. Oh, it's barren. 